For you guys who have followed my channel for like a long time, and I mean like under 100 subscribers long time, you will know that I have attempted the Topwater Challenge and failed twice. Now what the Topwater Challenge is, is where you go out fishing, bass fishing, and you try to catch a bass on three different topwaters. Not just three fish on topwater, but three fish on three different topwaters. So let's say I could come out here catch one, one on a frog, one on a popper, and one on a buzzbait. That would work, but if I caught one on a buzzbait and two on a frog, that'd still be three topwater fish, but he wouldn't qualify for the topwater challenge. Now I'm not exactly sure who came up with the topwater challenge, but the first guy I saw to do it would be Walker Wilson from W two outdoors. In this challenge, I can switch up as many topwater lures as I want to. I could use 50 different topwater lures as long as I caught three fish on three different lures. But I sort of put myself in a bind and I only brought three baits. One, a walking bait. Two, being this popper right here. And three, in my back pocket, a frog. So not only did I only bring three styles of baits, but I only brung three baits in general. So let's say I'm catching fish like crazy, and then I accidentally get my last lure hung up a tree and break it off. I didn't complete the challenge. I didn't catch three fish on three different topwaters. So as I was saying, I'm in the worst possible position to finish this challenge. I have to make perfect casts and not lose any baits. And I'll tell you right now, I'm really good at losing baits. There's probably like 15 sycamores, and buddy, I love to swarp on them. I don't know, it's just in my blood. I'm gonna hurry, hurry up and get this challenge done, because. I've really, I've got like 30 minutes of daylight left and this dog is just barking like nobody's business. Here I go guys, wish me luck. Here we go starting out first, this little walking bait, spook type bait. First cast of the challenge. The wind is picking up, that's not necessarily good for top water, but I, it's not enough wind to knock me out of the top water completely. I still think I can get a good bite on it. Okay guys, well I just, I just can't catch a fish on this walking bait. I'm gonna switch to a popper or yeah, a popper. See if I might get at least one of the baits out of the way. Now I'm just gonna switch to this little yellow magic popper. And I'm actually using this Pesifone Honor Reel for the first time. Small poppers about as finesse as you can get within your top water boundaries. Oh no, there's no way I caught a fish just now. I was jerking it across a branch and I caught him. Oh, we may be getting somewhere. I was honestly. Guys, that counts. I don't care what you say, that counts. Cause uh, I think my elbow touched him or something like that. I th Yeah, my elbow touched him. So there's a fish on the popper. But yeah, I actually threw across a branch. I thought I was gonna get hung up. And I actually thought I got hung up, but apparently it was just a fish. So I jerked him across the limb with a small popper. Now I'm going to switch over to the frog because, you know, we may be getting on to something right here. I wasn't even moving in at all, which is sort of bad news for my walking bait. As I'm switching over to the frog, I want to just tell y'all something that, well, you know, I've been, you know, my subscriber count, it's been growing and it's been great. I've been getting a lot of comments too, and I've not been able to answer very many of them at all. So I was going to tell y'all a good way to get even more in touch with me since comments, well there's getting a bit a lot of them now, is you can follow me on my other social medias which would be Snapchat and Instagram right here. I've been trying to post more on both of them. Here's a little picture from my story like a few days ago. And on Instagram, if you'll tag me in a picture, I automatically go like it. And if you put hashtag Jesus in it, boom, I've automatically liked it. And I'll even leave you a little comment on it just for that hashtag. So for you guys who have had me on Snapchat, Tell me, do you want me to keep posting new stories? Because I know I haven't been posting many. But please tell me, do you want to see more stories? Because, you know, I try to post a few every now and again. Guys, I can't tell you enough in ponds how much I absolutely love a frog. Even though there's no grass in here, like whatsoever, there's no grass in here. There's grass carp, so there's not any grass. I just love a frog simply because I can throw it up on the bank and throw it in sycamores all day long and I won't get hung a single time. Just like that. Do it right over a sycamore and on the bank and i'm just gonna pull it right down in the water just like that and they'll bite it just as good as they will any other top water too only problem well i mean the hookup ratio is not as good sometimes but the blow-ups are the blow-ups equal it out and the frogs i use are actually one of the cheapest brands i use booyah i mean i've used booyah for like a really long time they've got plenty of color patterns even though you basically only need black white and brown but you know, they got plenty of color patterns if that's what you're into, and they walk really nice. 
Ah, uh, see, like I said, guys, straight up in the sycamore, watch this frog come out. Boom, just like that, right back in my hand. Come back to me, boo y'all. It's like a boomerang. Boo y'all, boomerang. Never gets hung. Not sponsored, guys. Not sponsored. Wish I was, but I'm not. Oh, no. I had one hit it. And it's sitting here dangling over the limb. No way. One hit it, and it was, it's, it's, it's in a tree right now, but the bait is actually in the water. I'm sure some of you guys have had this happen to you before. Comment below, say, yeah, I've had that happen, or... No, but I'd like to because, I mean, he's bit it, but I've never caught a fish like this. But, man, that's that's crazy. That's crazy. Catch a fish and it dangling over a branch. No way. Got it. Nope. No, he spit it. You're kidding me. Same fish. Oh, my gosh. Look at my frog. He tore it up, man. He tore it up. I don't know. I cannot catch a frogfish lately, like, at all. Boys, I may have just ran into a stop sign. My frog's hung. Frogs don't get in get hung, son, and it's hung. I believe I got 30-pound braid on. I honestly think I can maybe pull it out. Yep, I got it. It's pretty close, though. I, I ain't gonna lie. I was getting nervous right there. I was getting a little nervous. That ain't even a sycamore now. That ain't that right there. Ain't even a sycamore. That fish is still hungry. Fish just blew up, guys. A fish just blew up. And I know exactly where he is. Bingo Bonanza. Perfect cast. He may not blow up because he's like probably got a frog in his mouth right now. But I've seen fish blow up. I've seen fish. I've caught fish with a shad sticking down the throat. Don't believe me? Watch this little eye up here. It's pretty crazy. It's a good little video. I took the L. I failed. Again. I mean, I had a good time again. And I only had like an hour to fish. You know what? Sometimes the fish just beat you. If you guys want to see another topwater challenge, as in like another attempt, this makes my third attempt. And my third fail. Let's go ahead and tell me in the comments. Do you want to see another? Oh my gosh. That was slippery. Tell me in the comments if you want to see another one. Notification squad popped up right now. And on, my, on the side of my head. Those are some more videos that you could watch. Don't forget to tell me. And follow me on Instagram and Snapchat. I'm out of breath. And I'll see you later.